Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this probably won't help too many people. I made a video about cut order just a few minutes ago why it's loaded, and I thought I'd play around with it. If this is symmetrical, it's I made it nine by nine, everything, it's actually got some good gaps. So if we take an indexing line, the item is in the center of the page, or we're gonna take it, and we're gonna use the indexing lines to stop the virtual segment delete key from deleting things we don't want. And we did a pretty good job. And actually, we probably want to leave those parts. And then we'll take, because they were sticking over the line, but that'll work. Might even be to our advantage. So now let's delete all this. And on this one, we want to take out those objects. So we're going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete all this and actually delete this, the ones that were sticking over. Now, in this particular one, I've already fixed, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I've already kind of fixed it where we had some bad joints. And the indexing lines are going to help us do this. But what we need to do, we need to ungroup it first. Go to, or we could basically break the curve apart. Now we've got individual pieces. And then we're going to watch, and we're going to do our cut order. So we're going to go to Windows, Dockers, Objects. And if you remember earlier, we had like 1,500 items. Now we've got 288. Let's say we want to start at this bottom piece. We'll see it's way up here at the top. And what I was saying in that other video, a lot of times it's going to take you longer to do this than it will to, and this is kind of neat because we've got a square there. So we're going to, we're changing the cut order. And then we want to cut that one. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. But we want to be just below that square. I should have shown you what it's going to look like the cut order before. But if we just keep going up and changing this cut order, and then you might, you know, you'd have to skip over there and do all these. Uh, but if you did them all, you see that one's at the bottom, that one's back up at the top. Well, There it is right there. I mean, this is going to take some time without a doubt. But if you were going to do a hundred of these, it might save you time. Because now if you look, we're going to start and we're going to cut that one. We're going to cut that one. We're going to cut that one. That one. I'm going to hit the arrow key just going up. And see, here's where we haven't gone. It's going to go way off the page. Or not off the page, but it's going to... So there's our last box, then it's going to jump over there. This would save you a little bit of time because it's going to stay at least in this quadrant. Okay, so now we're going to group these together. Control G. And because it's symmetrical, we can hold down the control button and mirror it. I didn't make I didn't make a duplicate. Control D. And now those are in order, so these are going to be in the same order but backwards. But if you see, they're almost perfect. There's a little bit of space right here. We need to change our nudge distance like 0 0.02. And we need to grab that bottom one and nudge it down to where it's kind of equal. And you'd want to play with that. Uh, let's do this. Let's make it perfect. Let's put, holding down the control button, it comes straight down to that box straight down to that line. Holding down the control, start moving and hold down the control button. Now, if we go, let's get rid of this right here. Let's change our nudge factor like to 0 0.2. Let's see what happens. Nudge this up. Well, that's too much. Let's go just to 0 0.03. Nudge this up. And that's probably too much. Let's nudge up. 
excuse me, point, point zero one five. So let's nudge this. Well, we've already nudged it up. Let's nudge it back down. Okay, nudge it up once. Take the bottom one, nudge it down. Now this is symmetrical. They're the same off the line. And if we did our cut order, let's just do that. I get in a bad habit of closing the Docker window. I don't like the Docker always. But if you look, and we start on the bottom, of course, we have to ungroup it. Now, if we start on the bottom, and that's what we changed, remember? But it's going to stay at least this coordinate, this quarter of the page, before it moves down to the other one. And there it's doing a pretty good job of cut order. That's not too much jumping around. Now, it should go to the bottom one. So you're, you're already saving some time. Now I'm going to group this together, control G. And I'm going to control D to control uh, duplicate it. And then I'm going to use the control button to move this over to mirror it. And if you look, now we're off this line. So we'll take that and nudge it, whoop, nudge it over to that line and then nudge it over once and this one's a little bit off sideways but because it's a group we can actually take this holding down the control and if you need to start moving it before you move it get it pretty near that line and then nudge it over one now it's symmetrical and it should cut in those orders let's go way down the bottom so i'm just hitting the arrow key at least it's staying in this coordinates. So the laser is not having to go from way to one side of the bed to the other side. And then it's going to go down and cut the bottom. Let me back up here so you can see this. I'm just holding down the arrow key. So at least it's staying in this coordinates. And so you didn't, you didn't really have to take too much time. And then just bring your other graphic back in. The other graphic, you could actually do the same way. I kind of hope that made sense. I'm, I'm a little bit off here. Um, I made a mistake. And let's see if we can't fix this. Because these are double. So what we need to do is go up to object, group, and ungroup and just delete these inner parts, probably top and bottom. Yep. So just take your pick tool. And then group this back together pretty easily by just staying on that side of the line. Control G. And now let's just nudge it back. So it was symmetrical, but I, I failed to delete some of those parts. So if we go straight to the line and nudge it over. We should be 100% symmetrical in every facet. I know most of you are never going to do that, but it'll it'll it will save this gentleman some time. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.